somebody want to say one of the main things they heard? Well, I learned that there was a lot of oppression that went on. I had asked prior to this that the civilians were caught in the middle between both sides. Seemingly what I heard tonight it was mostly the cameras caught in It seems to me that this applies worldwide to the United States. The problem is we don't know what's going on half the time. And the other half the time we've got our finger in and making it worse. So it's really hard for us to know, for instance, right now, over in the Middle East, should we or shouldn't we get involved? So I really thank all of you tonight for enlightening us, and I hope you'll keep us informed. It's good to know you're on campus. Meeting adjourned. You can go home or talk with our speakers. Thank you all for coming. There are four of them. Please sign the petition. They will go to AI Chicago, which will go global. Yes, I'll email about it. So what happens is we have our researchers go out and deal, like Congo, Sri Lanka, a lot of different places, and they report what's actually going on. So we have first-hand accounts, and then they distribute that to their website, and then chapters like us and other chapters like uh, Chicago's chapter now, we take that information and we try to organize people and we try to find solutions, whether it be contacting our Congress or our Senate, uh, writing petitions, writing letters to our senators, having protests, any number of things to get the message out of these human rights violations are happening. Because apparently what we do, our slogan is, um, our, our, our um, sigil is a candle with barbed wire around it, and the idea is this candle sheds light in the dark corners of the room, so you can actually see it's going to be those drawing So that's essentially what we do, is just shed light up so people know where it's um, what are some of the events that are sponsored and are co-sponsored on campus by Amnesty International? Well, we're really new. Um, Amnesty International has been on and off at NIU. Um, so we've kind of changed hands throughout the, uh, 
entirety of the university, actually. Um, we have, uh, we've done teachings previously, which are where we have professors actually educate people about human rights violations. We've done a, um, it's called the V-Day Dance, where we basically um, we remember women and uh, celebrated what they're doing in the Congo despite the atrocities that are occurring to them and genocide. Um, we did a benefit concert with the House Cafe, and then we are trying to do more of this, which is more like symposium conversations with people who are actually from the area and um, what did you hope to see today? I hope to see people talking, and they are. That's the most important thing. If you can get people talking, they'll talk to somebody else. So if they'll come here, they'll talk to each other, they'll go home and they'll say, you know, I've heard about this thing that I never knew about. And they'll talk more about it. And I just want people to be aware of what's going on. And it's, it seems really incredible. So that would answer your follow-up of were you satisfied with tonight? Yes, very satisfied. It was a wonderful turnout, frankly. <laughs> See, how long have you personally been involved with Amnesty International? This will have been my, I started in uh, on around 9 So it's what, 12 years? Yeah. Um, let's see. I think that should probably be it. Is there any upcoming Amnesty International events to look out for? We are looking for members. We're trying to organize people and see what we should do next. I might um, do a piece about you guys needing members because we're always like stories. That would be awesome. Yes. I know a lot of people want to do it, they just don't know what it says. Definitely. Uh, what's your email? It is N Santiago, the number one, <laughs> at NIU. Right. It was very nice meeting you today. It's great to meet you. What's your name? Brian Gutman. Okay, yes. Good to meet you. <laughs> I'm glad you came. Yeah, definitely. And, uh, yeah. I'm probably in the next week. Yeah. Uh, early October. Yeah. Well, I think it's better. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
you have a great day. Brian Governor. You take care too. You did all this in the last few minutes or last few days or you know, you know. I mean if you guys like you can kind of join out with it. Like you don't have anything there, like because I I'm basically what I do is establish this thing and then try to see what other people do is these kind of spread these things, like sign the petitions when you agree with that kind of stuff. I mean, this is like, you don't want to do anything else. That's, that's the problem I had. Like, uh, How old is this normal? So it's like this, what else? Like this, what else? Oh! 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 I Still unpacking and I am...